dogs It's the only thing we have The only thing left to grasp And the only thing left to for the procreation of the human race. Therefore, Lord our God, who has sent forth thy truth upon thy inheritance and thy covenant unto thy servants, our fathers, thy elect from generation to generation, look upon thy servant Ryan and thy handmaiden Sandra and establish and make firm their betrothal in faith and in oneness of mind, in truth and in love. For thou, O Lord, hast declared that a pledge should be given and confirmed in all things, 
buy a ring power was given to Joseph in Egypt. And the right hands of thy servants also shall be blessed by thy mighty word and by thy upright heart. and a firm attention to take as your wife this woman, Sandra, whom you see here before you. Yes, Father. Have you promised yourself many other brides? No, Father. Do you, Sandra, have a good, free, and unconstrained will and a firm attention to take as your husband this man, Ryan, whom you see here before you? Yes, Father. Have you promised yourself many other men? No, Father. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The handmaiden of God, Sandra, is crowned unto the servant of God, Ryan, in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Sarah and Sandra, I pronounce you husband and wife. Now you may kiss your lovely brother. I know you were waiting and, and it's our quiet. <laughs> Guys, 
and it made a lot of noise from the bench, like thunder. But uh, Brian wasn't lightning because he was quick. He was just lightning because uh, when he took his shirt off, he blinded everybody with his white, white shirt. <laughs> It's hard to believe that, you know, I thought this would be a brief, to, you know, write a speech. I'm like, sit down, two hours for my man. No, no. It, it was really hard because uh, this, he means so much to me, and obviously everybody in this room, but uh, he's been like a brother to me in every possible fashion of life. He's, he's absolutely one of the most amazing people you will ever meet. Uh, Sandy's family that doesn't really know him all too well yet. You guys are just in for a blessing for the rest of your lives. Sandy knows that. That's why she's here today. <laughs> um, you know, when you're best friends with someone, you really never really sit and, you know, think, why are we best friends? That was the hard part for me. You know, we just are. We're inseparable. Everybody, you know, knows us that it's, it's uh, excuse me, somebody's calling myself on it. Somebody's not here. <laughs> I swear to God, it turned off, sorry. Can we edit that part? Okay, back to it. I'm going to give it to you. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, sorry. That's a bad one. I'm going to take an extra shot for that one. Okay. The more, the more I thought about it, the more uh, I realized, you know, how lucky Sandy really is. Uh, it's going to be really hard, you know, to find a 28-year-old guy who loves wrestling. <laughs> who, has, who has a uh, hefty uh, supply of Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> and uh, is living in his friend's garage. <laughs> uh, when, it comes, when it really comes down to it, Ryan is the most trusting and sincere and genuine person you will ever meet. I, you know, always wanted what he deserved, and that was absolutely the best. And you all know her as Sandy. I remember the first couple of weeks that I met Sandy, I kind of felt sorry for her because I thought she had a problem breathing. Because Ryan was giving her mouth to mouth every two minutes. You know. Sorry. Sorry, you guys know that was. Sorry, Maria. Sorry, Maria. <laughs> I can honestly say I've never, never, you know, heard any bad things, seen bad things. Sandy, you're absolutely amazing. My best friend is blessed to have a woman like you. Um, very happy for the both of you, and you guys have sincerely restored my faith that someday even I might get married. <laughs> um, I know Sandy for what 25 years, 25 years or 24 years and 10 months. Um, I'm Sandy's cousin, and we grew up together so the age of eight, and um. I was just remembering, because my aunt reminded me of when she moved to California, I thought I was gonna die. Um, we were inseparable. Where people would always say, are oh, you sisters? Because our moms used to dress us up alike all the time. And it got to the point where even when they didn't try to dress us up, we would show up somewhere wearing the same clothes. Seriously. Um, I remember, and this again, like I said, it was because your mom reminded me of when you moved to California. And um, and we were talking on the phone and we were talking about how we were gonna fly you back to Chicago. And um, we said we we had a, we were almost, I think we almost had enough for the ticket because we had like $2 each. Yep, each. And we kept saying, we're gonna save up, we're gonna save up, keep saving up. Um, and, um, but she never flew back. But um, I missed her, and um, I still do. 
But uh, in the same, at the same time, I'm so glad that you stayed here because if not, you wouldn't have met Ryan and we wouldn't be here today. Um, I wish you all the best. Um, let's raise our glasses. And I just want to bless you guys with a couple of things. I want to bless you guys with peace, that peace may always reign in your home. With happiness, that even in the times of sadness and sorrow, that happiness may continue to reign in your home forever. Um, and I bless you with love, that love may never stop flowing. There's a story in the Bible of a woman who was poor, and her son was poor, and um, they didn't have anything. And a prophet kept saying, you know, what do you have? And they said, I have a little bit of oil. And they said, bring as many pots, go out and into the neighborhood and bring as many pots as you probably possibly can. Get your neighbors to give you as many. And what they did is they kept pouring it, kept pouring into all the pots, and the oil would never run out. And that's what I hope for you guys that your love, that your jar of love may never run out. Um, before we toast, I want to sing a song that Sandy and I used to sing all the time that her mom taught us when we were uh, young. It goes like this. I'm a little acorn crumb sitting on a cocoa crumb. People come and step on me. That is why I'm here to sing. I'm in a, I'm in a. I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a. <laughs> to Sandy and Ryan, we love you guys. I'm a man on fire, walking through your street with one guitar and two dancing feet. Only one desire that's left in me on the whole damn world. Come dance with me. See our body. 